Hi, my name is John Keller. I'm a freshman at UNO and I study architectural engineering. This over here is... I'm Alex Lowry. I'm also an architectural engineer. We design things like this and make sure the building stands up, the lights turn on, and the toilets flush. What I'm standing on right now is called a beam. Over there is a column and they are responsible for what makes the building nice and strong. Hi, I'm Jacob Cambridge. I'm a third year student at UNO going into mechanical engineering. We create everything from batteries to x-rays. I want to design robot arms and legs. Oh, hey kiddos. I'm Nick Schwinn, and I'm a sophomore at UNO studying computer engineering, which means I'll learn to build and design computers like this. Hey kiddos, my name is Nick Burrish, and I'm a freshman studying to be a construction engineer at UNO. And what a better way to show you what a construction engineer does than to take you to a construction site. All right, so here I am at the construction site. And what a construction engineer does here is they make sure the project is built safely and they make sure that it gets done on time so that the customer is happy. Hi, hi, I need your help. I have a super important job for you, all right? There will be a test at the end of this video. If you don't pass it, your teacher will be fired and will be homeless. Now, on to today's video. Do you remember what last week's topic was? Yeah, last week we talked about empathy, but this week we're gonna be talking about stress. Yeah, that's right. I learned that stress can be a good thing or a bad thing. Stress is just your body's way of responding to an uncomfortable situation. Does everybody experience stress? Yeah, everyone experiences stress, and we're gonna be showing you guys how to respond to it and how to handle it. There are three main ways to react to stress. The first one is anger. The second one is anxiety, and the most productive is task response. Here's how you respond to stress with anger. I don't know, it's too hard, man. Not productive. Here's anxiety. I, I, I don't know. Uh. Also not productive. Finally, here's task response. Hey man, this problem looks pretty hard. Can you uh, help me out? It's uh, two plus two. Sure, let's figure it out together. All right. Well, uh, this is two. two. And this is two, two. so four. four. An example of a way to relieve stress is through a hobby. A hobby can be fun or productive or both. My hobby happens to be longboarding. Another example of hobby is softball. Man. So stressed by this homework. I can get my mind off something, clear my head. Well, I know, I'll skateboard. Oh yeah, I love skateboarding. Feels so good right now, so fun. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! All right. Now that you've seen what my hobby is, I want you to share with the person next to you what your hobby is. What do you do to have fun or to relieve stress? Okay, now that you guys have shared your hobbies with another, the reason that we have these hobbies is to manage our stress and they help us pass the time and give us something fun to do that takes our mind off of what's stressing us. Hey kiddos, uh, we're gonna do an activity next. We're gonna take a piece of paper, divide it in half, and we're going to uh, draw two things. Uh, something stressful, something that makes you worried or anxious, you know, uh, something that you know stresses you out. 
uh, as well as something relaxing on the other side, you know, something that helps you relieve stress. And uh, take your time, take a couple minutes, got to draw something on each side, and we'll be back to check it out. Okay, now that you guys are done drawing, we're going to show you what we drew. So for something that stresses me out, I drew studying for a test right here, and then golf is one thing that relaxes me and makes me happy. One thing that stresses me out is bogus speaking, and what I do to relieve stress is listen to music. Something that stresses me out makes me kind of anxious is writing essays, but something that makes me happy and relieves stress is hanging out with friends and family. For me, bills are pretty stressful, but walking my dog helps me relax. For me, difficult homework's kind of stressful, and something that relaxes me is video games. Let's draw another little monitor here, because everybody needs a friend. So, we did this activity because you need to recognize things that stress you and things that help you relax. An important thing of managing stress is recognizing what stresses you out because you can't handle a problem until you know it's there. We're gonna talk about ways to recognize what stresses you, and as well as some ways to uh, handle that later. Okay, this next activity we're gonna be doing is called Simon Says. I'm going to say something, and then the people who are playing the game are gonna to have to do what I say. If they do it and I don't say Simon Says, then they lose. We are doing this activity to simulate a high stress environment. Ready, go. Three, two, one, go. Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, do a jumping jack. Simon says, lick your elbow. <laughs> Simon says, bark like a dog. <laughs> Simon says, break dance. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, stand up. Break dance again. Simon didn't say you're all out. <laughs> okay, now that Simon Says activity was pretty stressful, but the reason we did that was to better prepare you for stressful situations in the future, so now you'll be ready. Okay, so for this next portion of the video, we are going to be talking to you guys about exercise. Exercise helps you guys with stress because it makes you feel more accomplished, confident, and it makes you healthier. So now we are going to be showing you how we exercise. In this activity, we're going to meditate. This helps us relax, wind down, and find a good men mental state. So find a relaxing place to sit, calm down, and observe. Om. Fly with Abel and Phi. Body scan meditation. Sit in a comfortable position and bring attention to your body. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. You can notice your body seated wherever you are, feeling the weight of your body on the chair or on the floor. Take a few deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Breathe out through your mouth. Four, three, two, one. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Breathe out through your mouth. Four, three, two, one. 
Now bring your attention to the top of your head. Sense this area. What do you feel? Stillness or a feeling running through your hair? Breathe. And as you breathe, relax the top of your head. Continue to breathe and move your attention to the side of your head in your ears. What do you sense? Do you hear anything? Now bring your attention to the neck and throat. Let them be soft. Relax. Soften your jaw. Let your face and facial muscles be soft. Smile softly and gently. Notice your back against the chair. Bring your attention into your stomach area. If your stomach is tense or tight, let it soften. Take a breath. Notice your hands. Are your hands tense or tight? See if you can allow them to soften. Notice your arms. Feel any sensation in your arms. Let your shoulders be soft. Bring your attention to your legs and your feet. Feel your feet touching the ground and making a connection with it. Now notice your whole body present. Take one more breath. Be aware of your whole body as best you can. Take a breath. And then, when you're ready, you can open your eyes. All right, guys, so stress is often viewed as a negative thing, but it can be a good thing too, just like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Good stress is when we feel excited about something. It's when we get that burst of energy. It's when our heart starts beating faster. Bad stress is when we feel uncomfortable about something because we don't know how to handle it because we haven't handled something like that before, so we feel anxious. So I'm gonna give you two different scenarios here and I'm gonna have you guys place them in the good stress side or the bad stress side. So I'm gonna start with roller coasters. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds. We're going to pause this and I want you guys to decide whether you'd put that on the good side or the bad side. All right, so for me personally, I would put roller coasters on the good side because I'm a huge fan of roller coasters. They give me a nice thrill and I just love that part of them. And now we're going to talk about moving schools. I'm going to pause for a few seconds and I'm going to have you guys decide if you would put that in the good category or the bad category. Now for me personally, I would put moving schools on the bad side because when you move schools, you lose those friends that you had at that school and that's very sad. And that's why I would put that on the bad side. Hey kiddos, remember that test at the beginning of this video? That's a very stressful situation. And how we deal with this stressful situation is by doing these four things. First, we identify what's stressing us. What's stressing us is that if we fail this test, our teacher will lose our job and be homeless. Second, we need to identify what choices we have. We have two choices. We can pay attention to this video and pass the test or we can slack off and not pay attention and fail. Okay, we make these choices based on our values. If we value our teacher's well-being and her feelings, and we will come to the decision to pay attention to this video and do good on that test. Now, if we value having fun and slacking off, then we will come to the decision of not paying attention to this video, and you will fail a test, and your teacher will lose her job, and it will be all your fault. To recap this video, we learned the three reactions to stress, anxiety, anger, and task response. We also learned about the two types of stress, good and bad. Remember, good stress makes you feel excited, whereas bad stress makes you feel uncomfortable. We also learned that the steps to handle stress are identifying the stress, knowing your choices, 
knowing your values and coming to a decision. And finally, we covered ways to reduce stress, which you can meditate, exercise, play games, do a hobby, or really anything else you enjoy. Alrighty, now's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the big scary test. Reveal! Just kidding, there's not, there's not any test. Um, that was just a ruse to mess with you. But be ready for next week's topic, resolving conflict. Now dance party! That was, that was good, but it was a little less tripping. Do you remember what last week's topic was? Yeah, it was about stress. But this our oh. <laughs> topic was? Yeah, last week we talked about. Oh. I was gonna say stress again. Okay. An example of a way to relieve stress is through a hobby. A hobby. You have to pan it. <laughs> um, okay. I don't remember what, what was I saying again. Three, two, one, go. Simon says, do push up. Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, do a somersault. <laughs> do a flip. <laughs> Another thing we learned. <laughs> right. I can't believe we've done this. <laughs> I said alert. <laughs> they will be homeless. It will all be your fault. If we value our own feelings over the feelings of others, then we would choose the choice that... Man, I'm getting too worried. <laughs> Alright, so, start over. <laughs> <laughs>